Ahoy! Today we're taking a first look at Smite's newest hunter, and that is Danzaburo. As usual, keep in mind, this is on 200 ping, this is just the first test on PTS. We're gonna have more games later, and we're gonna see how it works. Oh my god, that was actually very interesting already. Can we save you me here? Ooh, the, la the lags! Oh, oh, okay, we can. Um, so his first ability is what you just saw, is these money bags that you shoot forward. And they go forward uh, in three directions, and you can bounce them off walls. So, what we'll try and do here is... Oh, we hit him with the basic attack. I was gonna say, bounce them on. And what you see is, if you hit a guard, then a gold coin drops as well, which is what happened here. Which is why we just had some extra gold there. Um, but what I wanted to see is how easy it is to actually hit multiple targets. Because on my first shot there, I actually hit multiple targets almost by accident. Um, I guess if you get pretty good with this, you can probably angle this. Let's see what the second ability does here. Oh god. Okay, that's gonna be very hard on ping. But we did the, we did oh we did get the taunt, but uh Kurinos beats, so it didn't actually work for us. Uh we're gonna try the f okay, I guess you can kinda like Let's try this, let's try this. Oh yeah, okay, hit him and now they're gonna detonate. Uh no, just one of them him, okay. Because um, they have like a small circle radius in which they detonate and then they deal damage again. But it seems like it's really easy for the enemy to walk out of that. Oh, not gonna happen. Um, so that is uh, kind of only something if the enemy stays in the ability. The second ability is this, this bottle that I throw on the ground. And that actually does damage as well. So if I just use it here, it does a little bit of damage. It heals me, which is very interesting, which means... Uh, he will probably benefit a lot from building Transcendence. I'm gonna just... Uh, I'm just trying to get purple, actually. Can I bounce them like... something? Oh yeah, this... Oh! That might actually mean that his jungle clear is pretty decent. Hmm. So yeah, you can, uh, you can do Transcendence instead of Devils pretty easily because you get a little bit of heal, which I think scales up as well if you level it. So yeah. So you could actually double the two just for early sustain. I'm gonna try and bounce these like this. See if that works. Nope. The taunt bottle gonna work? Oh wow, that, that stacks quickly. So this has three procs of, uh, of a slow that it stacks. But it actually stacks really, really quickly. There we go. That, that gives us the, the extra gold again. Uh, and what you can see, by the way, as well, it's my passive, uh, if, you look, uh, if you look down here. Uh, for every gold I get, 10% go into this passive. And once it's full, I actually get uh, a little bit of bonus gold and a little bit of bonus power. So we should achieve that very soon. We should achieve that with this wave, I think. Let's just see. There we go. Well, it doesn't say it's still 10 power here, which is just Morningstar. But we should... That's it. Hmm. Increased physical power, but... It Actually the same. What? Am I missing something? Am I looking at the wrong stat? I know I've confused the uh, power and and uh Okay that passive does not seem to work yet because I should have ten extra physical power at this point. Uh well it'll it'll work soon enough, I hope. Wow the taunt procs so easily. I'm not sure why the taunt on the two procs so quickly. I thought it was meant to be like harder. But we're getting chased a little bit, so maybe that's uh a good opportunity to show you the three. Which is this little uh, plant terrain in which you go into. And you get increased movement speed and as it, yeah, it seems you actually still get haste in it. So that was something which I wasn't sure about if it's gonna make it onto, uh, onto the life client. But it seems like they actually went through with the haste. And we can ult him now. Lock on rocket, goes through the entire wave. <laughs> and goes pretty far and it seems it picked up the gold as well unless I just expired essentially so yeah that was fun <laughs> uh we're gonna go back here real quick we're gonna get ourselves a transcendence let's throw some more oh he goes in the rocket when you back as well really cool uh very interesting we can uh, listen to the voice pick a little bit while we make our way back to him. oh actually we can use that uh, we can use the escape for this as well see now i turn into a leaf and there are other leaves around me i don't know why they showed up so weirdly there they should just float around me something was Strange in that particular situation. I don't know if that's because of the lag or something else. Anyways. Wow. 
Danza bro, okay, you don't actually call it Danza bro, it's kind of like Danza, Danza bro. Oh, can we combo here? Like, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, with the intoxication. He's got, uh, how much level difference is that? Two levels? Oh, okay, no. Not too crazy on. I was gonna say that, that looked like a lot of damage, but maybe more, more level diff. These shots, though, they do a lot of damage. If you hit uh, multiple on the same target, they do only 20% damage. Actually, I wanna, I wanna see what happens with the, uh, with the detonate part of it. You have to look very closely here. Okay. Okay, so the secondary hit, unless, uh, unless that effect is only against God, the secondary hit is not uh, reduced. The second, like the, the first detonation is not reduced, uh, but the det detonations after that are. So that's very good to know. Okay, let's see. We can um, try and make the three work again. <gasps> oh, did I? Oh, I took damage. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, so the three doesn't work uh, if you take damage, then it immediately puts you. <laughs> okay, sometimes the detonation hits you apparently. Uh... This ult is so fun. It's not like I don't know. It's so fun. Okay, so if you yeah, if you hit them from close range, you hit with all of them. Almost looks like they're not reduced if you hit multiple. Let's see. Um, no, it just says subsequent hits. It doesn't specify anything about guards. No, not sure. All right, I'm gonna level the two here just to see um, if I would heal more. Yeah. Oh, and oh, if they walk into the range of the bottle, they still get slowed and taunted afterwards. I thought that's only if you hit them initially. Which effectively means this is a good area denial tool in a team fight as well. Speaking of area denial, hello. Okay, he's gonna get taunted and yeah, easy. So you really need to destroy these bottles, and it happens so quickly that you almost cannot destroy them. Oh, I think that did it both. No. He feels super fun, even with this lag, which is I, I'm gonna show you how significant this lag is. Look. Look where the rocket goes off from. I know. I, I think this had like, like the projectile has a bit of a startup time, so I think it looks a little bit more off, anyways, than other projectiles. But look how off it looks, and uh, he still feels so good. Still feels so fun. Okay, I want to see if I can make this three work. So if you walk to the edge of this, you turn into a leaf, and here, see, there's like a whole group of leaves floating around. It's a very short time span, actually. It's it's much shorter than I would expect it to to be or feel. This, on the other hand, feels great. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna use my mana pot and I'm just gonna throw some twos everywhere and just use them to heal, I guess. No, why not? It's not the biggest heal in the game, but. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, not good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 okay. I tried to, I tried to turn into uh, the rocket there, but something that... Oh, oh god, <laughs> delay! <laughs> Fired it back there, not over here. <laughs> uh, something that I was warned of basically happened, uh, which is that you can get body blocked while you're ulting and then the rocket explodes immediately and unfortunately that happened, I connected to something. Uh, in the process of that ult. I was hoping I could just dash out that way. Uh, that was not the case. Well, I don't really know what you want to build on this guy other than more power. You could obviously build like Assai or something as well, but I feel like... <sighs> Do you even want to go for the attack speed build? I I, I don't like... We're not going to finish it in this game anyways, but uh, I feel like going for... Um, maybe just... Just a lot of power pen is, is almost more fun than the... ADC. I mean, he could be a great mid, honestly, all things considered. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ten seconds for the rocket. I'm gonna take a lot of damage in the process. I'm a bit scared because it's the minion wave. And I don't like stealing. Oh yes! Get him with the two. Okay, nice. 
All right, we're gonna level the old. It doesn't decrease in cooldown, I think. This is gonna be risky if anyone shows up here. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm, I'm really wondering if the delay of the uh, of the two is substantial in either scenario, not just uh, not just for me here. Because it's it feels like it has this wind up where he drinks it first. Like they said that you're gonna like start drinking first, but it feels like that actually delays the throw of the two, which uh, honestly seems fair. It seems it seems like that would balance the ability a little bit, which is otherwise very strong. I I swear this guy could jungle. <laughs> I d I just just based like not not from anything else, but just based on the one. And if you if you learn how to place these things so that they bounce back the right way, something like this, and then you know pop. He could jungle. Is the taunt gonna work? Oh, oh! I love I love the taunt. The taunt is actually so cool. I'm gonna see if I can like I can like get this the bl the blue buff maybe. If I can like one shot the blue buff at the with the one and then I'll, I'll go to vomit afterwards yeah this looks messy in a good way check that check that and that's without assassin's blessing this is with hunter's blessing i i i'm saying like you just run in their face and shotgun them with this thing just just build him <laughs> Just build him bruiser. Just build him ability, ability damage bruiser. Run in the enemy's face, because then you can use the ultimate into the like to engage as well, and just just use your one and just go bop, and then like the rest, you know, like CDR, CDR tanky, CDR tanky pen power, <laughs> kind of like a like a solo breastplate of valuable. I honestly think he could work as a solo, even with like a bruiser build, like a you know like zombie level bruiser or something. Like where you still you still want to do damage and you do the damage to the one, uh, but you want to get in the enemy's face just to maximize all the damage output, and just just throw that right in the enemy team. I feel like it could work. I mean, obviously he's an ADC first, but I feel like I feel like you could get really stupid with this guy. Can it? Oh, I can't taunt him now. <laughs> But I can hit him with all of these. Okay, maybe maybe not. Okay, maybe it's not that much damage. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> We're leaving now. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be more. Okay, CC immunity is actually a big problem for him because his kit revolves so much around um, CCing enemies in one way or another. And when that's not happening, um, I feel like that affects you a lot. Okay, but so far I really like him and I especially like. Oh wait, what? You switch between it? Okay, so every time you use the ultimate, you switch between. Uh, flying around as a rocket or shooting the rocket. Uh, I, I think we should close this off by uh, flying around as the rocket once. So oh, we have that covered as well. So we're gonna do that and then... Uh... Wait, does this taunt work on the minion? No. That would've been cool, but... Let's see how much damage we can do with the ultimate. Uh, if we go back one more time, we get some more pen. And then it such as a nice low level target here and Right, we should have a lot of um, bonus power as well. Because we already have three stacks of the passive here. Which I don't think is the case. We have 20 physical power here, 35 here, so 55. Wait, what? Does the physical power stat add up at all? Oh no, here, physical item. Or oh, maybe it does. Oh god, I, pff, oh, I can't calculate it with transcendence. Uh I'm not gonna bother with that right now. Um well, maybe, maybe we actually have the power we're supposed to have. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so how do we get the highest damage out of this? The highest damage out of this is Brawlers. And then we get another pen item. And then we're gonna... We're gonna rocket into someone. Into that environment. Alright. Gotta take those two down. No, oh, that was a short trip, but... We did it. We crashed into him. Oh, he went in. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, and then and then we have everything uh, that we needed to see here. We're gonna see look at his uh, defeat screen real quick as well. He feels super fun. I feel like his one especially is very strong, and his two is harder to counter than I thought it would be. 
like yeah it's it has a bit of a wind up but then once it's th like through the wind up i y if you're in this area you're going to you're going to get caught by that taunt and i thought that was going to be something that's not necessarily a given uh yeah the 3 feels shorter than expected guess it's like something you, if you if, may increase if you level it actually uh and the ultimate the ultimate feels super fun as well with the lock on and with the dashing yourself uh both really cool i just wish he would ride the rocket but overall, a really cool and fun release, uh, balance-wise. So far, he feels strong, especially because I've been playing an ADC on Ping here, but we'll see how he plays in actual games. Uh, I feel like he could also be countered relatively easily, uh, especially with body blocks, since you can um, body block basically half of his kit. So that's pretty huge. Oh, and we can like, look, take a look at these new uh, scoreboards they have here. Oh, so it's like... Uh, just click on okay yeah mm, cool and that's the build oh man i i mean this is not particularly impressive but i think it looks pleasing with a build listed like this uh, and then we have the details where you have like graphs for everything now um which you can kind of switch through if you want but uh, again this is this is pretty pointless because it's literally just this same stat sheet you can also highlight things which doesn't do anything. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, oh, progress. Maybe that's the new stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. This gives you some achievement stuff and everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, why not? With that, thank you so much for watching. This was just the first look. We're going to have uh, more on Danzaburu in the next days. We're going to test it out a little bit more. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you for the next one soon. If you're new to the channel, feel sub button, maybe the bell. So you get notified of the other Dunsabur stuff. Duke Sloth, out.